Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I just got through with a long drive home and on these drives I have a lot of time to think about a lot of things that I'm going to talk with you guys about. And today I kept thinking about some conversations I've had with several of my coworkers who have recently left or are leaving my existing hospital. And it's an absolute shame when people start leaving like this in waves and it usually happens because something spurred them to do it. But nonetheless, for the rest of the teammates like myself, it's a loss. It's a loss of friendship, camaraderie, and uh, it's also a, a loss of a good team member because as you work with people, they kind of find their place in with the team. And you know, now there's a hole where that person used to be. So anyway, I was talking to these people about negotiations. Because when you enter into uh, an agreement to work with another company, that is a negotiation. The job offer itself is a, a negotiation. It's not a final offer, and you should never treat it that way. See, the thing is, is that the opportunity to negotiate things like what are you going to be working on, the um, training that you'll be receiving over the next year, Maybe your title is going to be a good thing to negotiate. Um, maybe even office space. There's a lot of things to negotiate when you uh, go to sign a job offer. So just keep that in mind that whenever somebody slides you a job offer across the table, it's not necessarily a final offer. You can negotiate higher wages, um, a whole bunch of stuff. But that's your opportunity because once you sign that line, you are agreeing to their terms. So if you want to be a ventilator tech, you want to work on ventilators, now's your time to say, hey, guys, I want to work on ventilators. Send me to ventilator training. I know you have a ventilator tech, but that's okay because I eventually want to work on ventilators. Then they send you to event training, you know? So that's your time when you sign on for another job. And uh, unfortunately, I've, I've had this conversation with people recently that I really wish I, I didn't have to have that conversation with them because I, I hate losing team members like that. But uh, the other thing that we should talk about is your uh, employee self-evaluation. So employee self-evaluations are something that almost every single hospital does and usually it, it goes in a sequence. Like the first step in the sequence is the hospital will announce that employee self-evaluations are coming out this week. We want you to fill it out. And what you do is you fill it out based on your how you believe you performed over the last year or cycle, whatever the cycle is. So a very smart and, and very good biomed once told me that when you do biomed self-evaluations, you should always evaluate yourself as high as possible, but back it up with a paragraph beneath it. Don't just write, I was awesome or something like that. Back it up. Write a lot of stuff in the blank. Write a whole entire paragraph. And even though it might be 30 questions on that self-evaluation, write 30 paragraphs. A paragraph can be two, three sentences. That's fine. Just back it up. Go through your emails and find out what you did over the last year. You know, I have a folder on my emails called uh, uh, eval. So whenever I have like a project I'm working on or a large install or maybe a successful opening of a building or something, it all goes in my eval folder. So when it comes that time that I have to write a self eval, just pop into that folder and start reading those emails that I have stored um, in that folder. So anyway, uh, employee evals, there's some things that you should be well aware of. And again, these are, these are things that I learned from a very wise mentor of mine who was a senior biomed. And he told me that if you evaluate yourself really high and you back it up with anything, in that box that you fill out a paragraph, anything at all, your boss has to prove you wrong. So if you say, I was absolutely awesome this year, I did this, 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 and this, well, your boss, in order for him to mark you down, let's say you have a five out of five, and your boss wants to mark you to a two or a three out of five, well, he has to come up with reasons to mark you down. Now, I have worked with a lot of people throughout my past who uh, just leave the self-eval for the manager or for the rating personnel. I'm dead serious, guys. 
So they will either leave the paragraphs blank and just rate themselves. How do you think you did? One out of 10. There's usually a little box that says, please explain. Often they'll be like, eh, I did an eight or I, I marked myself all fives, which is middle of the road. If you're a middle of the road technician, I probably don't want you on my team. That's, I mean, that's not being rude or anything. That's the dead truth. If that's you. If that's your motivation for self-improvement is just to mark yourself as fives and leave it for your manager to fill out all the boxes below, you're not you're not a technician I want on my team. I want the guys that fill out like what they did, mark themselves high because I'm going to hold you to a high standard if you're on my team. So it's just one of those things. That, something I thought I should bring up to you guys is that throughout my career, I've had a lot of people I've worked with that they just leave it up for their boss or for their, their rating person to go ahead and write in comments or give them a fair justification. And no, no, absolutely not. Don't leave your career up to anybody else in this entire world. Don't leave it up to your spouse. Don't leave it up to your teammates. Don't leave it up to your boss. Do not leave your career up to anybody else other than yourself. And when those self evals come out, if you've been awesome, mark yourself as awesome and then write paragraphs in the blanks that say comment on what you did. Fill them up. <laughs> Guys, this is your opportunity. Take it or leave it. So anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up. Job offers and the negotiations. It is a negotiation, even when they say it's not. Yes, it is. And also, guys, when it comes to self-evals, fill out those self-evals. Take some time. I don't care if you have to do it on your own time at home or whatever. Take some time. Fill that out. Because remember, your boss, if you're on rocky ledges with him or something, this is your opportunity to like say, hey, I've been doing my job, you know, even if he says that you're not, all right? <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful afternoon.